Dude. All right, so check this out guys before this video gets started I do want to mention that we just dropped a brand new hoodie on the website Still got that brand new fire logo on the front, but this time in a premium hoodie We paid attention to all the little details first off this sucker is cross grain that way It prevents it from shrinking when you wash it and on top of that You got that flexible side that way it fits you perfectly nice and snug There's a bunch of other little details that we paid attention to and I got to say this is by far one of the most highest quality hoodies We've ever dropped and on top of that these suckers are very limited this is the heavyweight of course and it is the brand new maroon color my favorite color and these suckers are probably going to go pretty quick so if you want to cop you one and help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com but as of right now let's get to the video what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the new goon squad headquarters and as you guys seen in the previous video we finally completed the whole entire interior paint job in this house the ceilings the walls and all the trim all that stuff is painted and it turned out absolutely amazing and now it is officially time to start doing some final touches on this house as you can tell through that window there you got a lit up chandelier that we already installed along with a couple can lights and that's looking pretty epic but you know what we're not going to be doing all the light fixtures we actually already scheduled in all the electricians the HVAC guys and the plumbers to come out here one last time they're just gonna do all their trim out stuff and that's just gonna be a wrap for those guys there is still a few things that we could do ourselves as you can tell we still got to throw on some handrails on the staircase right here along with upstairs as well there's a couple rails there we've never done it before but you know what we're gonna figure it out bring in all the rail components and hopefully get them suckers installed Alrighty guys, so check that out. We got our very first post installed and we're super proud of this because it did take a good bit of time to do. As you can tell, look at all these tools we got out here. This sucker was pretty dang difficult to do, man. Oh yeah, dude, and we had to level that thing out, straighten it out, do whatever just to make that thing stand perfectly straight. And on top of that, we had to trim it as well. Yep, we had to trim it to the perfect height that way it's not too tall or too short. And uh, this sucker right here actually did not want to pop on. It was like too tight, so we had to do some trimming. That's why you see all that dust right there. But you know what? We're gonna have some trim right here at the bottom too. That's gonna that's gonna kind of clean everything up. Oh I yeah, dude, that's just gonna make it flow properly and stuff and on top of that this thing is pretty dang sturdy right there dude. dude pretty strong but you know what once we tie everything else in the other rails the rods and everything it's going to work in perfect harmony and unison to ensure that nobody just like goes tumbling over this huge cliff right here oh yeah dude i mean this is a, this is actually considered a guardrail not a handrail right yeah, it's classified as a guardrail a handrail is going to be something that's going to run on this side over here which actually our contractor came by today and he told us that we may have to install that in order to pass inspection so definitely gonna have that i think that'll be ideal to have a handrail right oh there, yeah you, know you I mean? definitely need something walking up the stairs especially those uh those wooden steps right there which are probably slippery i heard you dude, know what i mean you have to throw some uh some skateboard grip tape down there or something <laughs> <laughs> step. but anyways uh, also we had to cut this to the perfect height to pass inspection so this rail that's going to be sitting right here it can't be lower than 34 inches and it can't be higher than 38 so we got it smack dab in the middle right there you know we had to look this stuff up because we still got a final inspection that we got to yeah, pass yeah dude that's pretty crazy dude that you have to have certain things at a certain height especially the spindles they have to be like what like three inches apart or something like yeah, that three inches apart so we're still looking into this so we're researching as we're going but i think we're gonna get it knocked out so and also almost forgot to mention the plumber came by and he just cut clean into that 
wall there and he just has to tap into it, right? Yeah, he has to tap into it, put a little spout for the toilet and the sink, which, uh, I mean, that's just a mistake that easily was made. I mean, no big deal. He's no going to repair deal. all that. And he's even has sheetrock guys that can fix the sheetrock as yep, well, dude. So they're going to take care of that. We're not worried about that. But as right now, I guess we're just going to keep on moving with this guardrail right here and hopefully get the rest of the post installed and just go from there. Son, did you see that? Dude, dude, that thing is cool, ain't it, dude? Dude, that is the coolest thing ever. What is that tool called right this there, is a, This is actually called a pocket, well, it's called a Craig, but it's a pocket jig. It actually makes uh, pocket holes for like anything you want to have like a hidden screw. That way you're not just sitting there trying to put a screw in sideways and stuff. It makes a perfect little hole right here that's sideways. That way the screw just gets screwed in there and it hides and you won't even be able to see it, dude. Come on, Craig. Come I on, appreciate Craig. you, man. Thanks for the awesome invention, man. That is so cool. But let's give you guys a quick little update on what happened. We installed all three of these posts, nice and sturdy. Oh yeah, dude, these suckers are not going anywhere. Measured out the perfect center between both posts in that little wall area right there as well. And uh, marked all the holes. I mean, we are ready to go. We even drilled out these holes, drilled out the holes on the rail as well. And this sucker is ready to get screwed in and the posts and the spindles are ready to get put in, dude. dude. We are moving right along. I mean, it is taking a good bit of time because as you can tell, it's getting a little dark out there outside, but you know what? This is trim, dude. This this is the hardest part of this whole entire trim process. The stairs were pretty hard, but this right here is a little bit harder, but ever since we did this holes and stuff, now I'm like, dude, this is gonna be a little bit easier. This dude. should be a breeze, but another cool thing that I noticed is the wood. Look at this wood, dude. Oh yeah, these are supposed to be solid wooden posts right here, solid uh, red oak posts. That right there is a solid piece of red oak right there. It's definitely a, a different type of wood inside of this, but it's all solid. This right here is just, I don't even know what you call that. That's plywood with all type of bamboo. What are you, I mean, they just threw everything in here, squished it together and made it look like a post. And they did put the real wood on the outside. I mean, which is not a big deal. It still looks good to us, but that's expensive wood. This is the cheaper stuff right here. Something fishy going on there. But we paid the same price for both of them. Dude. But it's no big deal. It's not going to affect us much, but that is cool. Look at that piece of wood yeah, right there. That is insane. That's really awesome how they just like cramped it all together and stuff like that. And they have like some weird type of stuff going on in here. Probably got some kind of different type of bon tree. A bonsai tree in bonsai there. Bonsai tree. Some Australian stuff in there, man. <laughs> but here you go, Pops. This is going to be your gift oh, right yeah. there. Thank you, thank Take you. it home. Make something nice. out of it. <laughs> coffee mug out. What? Imagine that, dude. dude. We need a lathe, dude, that we, we can put this sucker on a lathe right here and just make like some cool stuff out of it. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. But anyways, we're going to keep on moving. Also, uh, the HVAC. H yeah, the HVAC guys came out here, measured all the vents up, all the openings and stuff like that, cut that little thing out right there, and they're actually going to be out here tomorrow and finish everything up, dude. Yes, sir. I can't wait. Things are coming together, but let's get this uh, handrail or handguard let's, coming together. Let's get them all done.
seen a better one than that right there dude look at that dude yeah, that looks super sick and i'm actually surprised that we finished this off today because this was one huge task right here but once we got in the groove man we just ended up knocking it all out look at how it goes into the wall right there with that little piece man this is just perfect dude, dude. and it, it got so much sturdier as well dude. dude it is solid and one good thing about these we actually got these simple spindles right here they're just straight down with a little piece at the bottom and this is like the best look because it looks more modern but dude it matches our light over there just dude. giving it that whole theme and the whole vibe dude. dude it feels like a yeah this is this this guardrail right here is a vibe dude, dude it just changed this whole room up it's basically starting to look like a house now you know what i mean yes sir man it's starting to feel so much more like a home where are you gonna put your couch man dude i don't know maybe do the couch here and uh, look back tv there. <laughs> there or something like that but yeah man but this right here is gonna protect us from falling off because i heard you like sleepwalking dude i'm a sleepwalker man i don't want to fall off this at night man dude, sometimes i sleepwalk backwards what? Never know, dude. <laughs> no i'm just kidding i don't do no sleepwalking but that's just good to have you know when you got friends and family over you don't want kids no or anything kids. like that that's probably why they do the like the four inch gap right here because uh, a baby once it's starting to learn how to walk or crawl i don't think it'll be able to go through this yeah exactly. but who knows man there's some tiny little babies out there hey you never know this is it's better to follow codes and regulations so that's what we did but you know what all three of us we did an amazing job dude we knocked it out knocked man. it out and tomorrow we're probably going to do the rails on the stairs right yeah, we got some uh, 45 degree or whatever degree angle that we're going to be going those are going to be a little bit more technical but dude i'm excited i'm excited to knock those suckers i'm out, excited man. too man i'm excited so i guess we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning So it is actually the next day here, and you know what? We made it thus far on this handrail on this bottom section over here. And like we mentioned before, it is so much more difficult than upstairs. But I think we're figuring it out, dude. dude. It took us like a thousand measurements, a thousand YouTube videos, a couple of Google searches because we are working with each step right here in a 45 degree angle finish at the very top, which this is going to be pretty crazy because uh once we start drilling dude, dude we can't go back we man we can't mess up here because if we mess up these treads right here then we're gonna have to replace the treads and to replace these treads you gotta pop them out and we glued them suckers in basically gotta redo the whole entire yeah dude you're case, probably dude. gonna have to redo the kick plate and all which we don't want so we made we gotta make sure this is 1000 percent, dude yeah, so before we even install this post right here we actually did like a bunch of measurements using squares triangles lasers circles circles this circle <laughs> right here measuring tapes just to figure out the spacing of these spindles right here because we want it to be all perfectly measured out that way it looks proper it matches yeah. upstairs yeah and it's going to line up perfectly with this beam up top so we made a couple measurements right there made our line our center line and we got uh three spindles per each step which i think is going to look really good and i think we got it man yep. and we had to make a jig just to figure this stuff out and we made like three jigs screwed two of them up and we finally figured out the last one and we made it to this point where we're almost ready to cut this rail which is going to just attach right there to 
that's gonna look pretty sick. Oh dude. yeah, dude, that's the best method we we found out that I think it's gonna look good. As long as we can get these angles right, I think we'll be solid, dude. Yeah, so that's the very next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and bring in a rail and hopefully get that sucker cut properly and hopefully get this sucker looking right. Go ahead and test that handrail, dude. Dude, this is sick, man. Dude, check Ooh. that sucker out. Look how professionally it looks, man. Dude, it was done professionally, <laughs> man. After a ton of research, we got these suckers all lined up. Huge shout out to that little laser that we got that made these spindles just sit perfectly still. And we actually aligned it with that laser and all. Dude, this sucker is straight goes right up into that wall right there, just like disappears, disappears dude. dude. That looks oh really good, goodness, dude. That turned out absolutely amazing. The sucker is pretty strong and it has to work as an actual handrail, right? Yeah, I mean, this is technically a handrail right here. It's super strong, not going anywhere, but we are gonna have to throw a handrail on that side since this only stops about halfway, which they did actually send us a full like 30 foot of handrail that we need to slap on that side right yeah, there. That, that'll be super easy. All we have to do is find some brackets and just bolt it up to a couple studs there. But dude, check out three Three spindles per tread right here. That just looks super good. These are a little bit closer than four inches, but that's just one way uh, you do it to pass your code and stuff like that. We were thinking about doing four inches, but none of these were like lining up on each tread. Yeah, exactly. This was the only way you could do it. You had to make the jig and it just do a little bit smaller. And I think that's perfect. It looks dude. super clean, dude. dude. The best look, but we are gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do right here. We do have, I think, two options, and one option is to actually use a, a handrail, but rip it right here a little bit at the bottom of this and just nail it onto the end of this and just drill a hole and do it that way or you said we could uh, buy more of these little caps mm -hmm. and actually just screw into this wall and just cap one on this side and cap one on this dude, side dude. that looked pretty clean i think that would look cleaner personally but you like the wood method a little bit better because yeah, I, I guess i think it, yeah i think it'll look good like wood all the way throughout but who knows maybe we'll just end up doing this we'll definitely have to test it out because it may look even better yeah. dude so let us know what you guys think we should do in that area definitely we could just screw into there because there's an lvl but i guess we'll figure that out a little bit later but as of right now dude we're pretty much there's not much more we can do man there's not much more we can do we will have to do that probably next video get a few more tools to do that and uh, find brackets for that handrail but that's all easy stuff then we're gonna sand this thing down, coat it, and all that good stuff, and it's just gonna look really good. There is dude. actually one thing we can do right now, dude. Throw in these can lights. Let's throw in all the can lights, save the electrician a little bit of headache. Dude, and throw all the kitchen can lights and the living room can lights and see if we can light this thing up.
so we ended up throwing all the can lights in the kitchen, but we couldn't figure out how to turn them suckers on. We're just gonna leave that all up to the electricians, which they are scheduled in, and they'll have everything knocked out here really soon. But what we did was actually come upstairs and we unwrapped this floor just to check it out. And I've gotta say, that looks absolutely stunning. Goes perfect with the light, just the contrast is just so perfect. But that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video. We're super happy with the amount of progress that we got done. This house build is gonna be over before you know it and we're gonna wrap it up in an epic way. But make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Gun Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.